It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, Chico. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. Never looked this good. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, as a lot of people have said, he did not want to stand on a napkin and trade in the center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here. He's a very smart fighter. He's very safe. And in the clinch, he understands that he's not in any danger because he's so good when he's in a clinch. 
And he landed the right hand there. Good punch. Just misses there with the left. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big head kick lands. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. He got to whip his hip into that kick. Back and forth we go. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Flush right hand is true. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg shakes. Nice counter shot there. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He blocks the punch. Exchanged in the pocket there. Lee gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Great punch. Big hook. Nice one, two there. Can't take many of those, let him check. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big combination. Get right here. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Connects with the right. Ball left hook to the head, it's blocked. Nice. Back to the jab now, no good. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now we land it clean. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. That was a jab. Back and forth we go. Already right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Final seconds of round one. Oh! Oh! Round two coming up next. Take a seat, bud. Ooh. Get some water. Perfect. How do you feel? Awesome. Your cardio is great, dude. Keep that. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Well done to block that powerful kick to the block. Oh! 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish. Oh! He is getting lit up right now, John. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. I mean, how many can he take? Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there, a huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 22 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Chico! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.